Here in the UK, we have three species of newt. Smooth or common newts are the most widespread. They've got spots on their underside and can grow up to 10 centimetres long. Palmate newts are the smallest species and look quite similar to smooth newts, but lack the spots on the throat. The great crested is the largest, up to 50% bigger than the other two, and is also the rarest, fully protected under UK law. Newts spend the winter hibernating, but as the weather warms up, then they emerge to start to mate. I want to discover which species live around the Springwatch HQ, and to do that, I've enlisted some expert help. David Dewsbury has invented a neat little trap which safely catches large numbers of newts, and I'm going to help him set some. Can I have a look at a trap? Of course. Yeah. That's your lunchbox, that's yeah, not yeah. a trap. A little bit different from the normal <laughs> newt traps, yes. Yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> David's ingenious trap is simply made of a plastic box with a slot along one side, lined with netting so the newts can get in but can't get back out again. Instead of a lid, there's a plastic bag with a float attached and a small hole to let air in. This gives the newts plenty of space to move around. The most newts I've ever caught in one of these is 88. 88? <laughs> but, yeah, but I, oh, that'd be I don't, take, I don't it? expect we'd catch that number of newts. <laughs> <laughs> the box fills with water and sinks to the bottom of the pond where the newts are most likely to stumble into it. We place several around the edge of this small pond to maximise our chances. So is that it for this pond, David? Just three? Yes, three should do it, hopefully. Now it's off to a second pond. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Um. This one's a lot bigger, so needs more traps, which are best positioned in the deepest parts towards the middle. So that is it now, isn't That's it? it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the two bonds that we're doing. Until tomorrow. Let's yes. take a bet. How many do you think we'll get? 30. OK, I'll go for 35. Right. <laughs> we'll find out who's right tomorrow. Newts are most active in the evening, so leaving the traps overnight means we're more likely to catch higher numbers. The next morning, I'm full of excitement to see what we've got. We start with the smaller of the two ponds. Oh, yes, 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 yes! We've got one! Hooray! Usually, a female smooth newt has spots under the chin and a much more spotty and bigger spots. This one has hardly any, actually, so it's quite easy. This is definitely a female palmate newt. Something in there. Oh, look, we've got lots! Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. Look, how many are there? Six? Yes, two males, four females. Oh, oh, we've got a few again. Well, quite a lot of palmate. Oh, my goodness, we've got loads. <gasps> it's a great crested it? newt, yeah. Yes! Whoa, look right. at the size difference. Yes. yes. I mean, he looks like a monster in comparison. And you can see that's a male, can't you? Oh, this definitely with the, the white stripe. Yeah. And he's got a big crest, but you can't see that. Well, We'll put him in some water and we'll be able to see the crests. Oh, will the crest come up then? Come up, yes. He really is rather handsome with his orange belly and large crest and dark, warty skin. It's completely unmistakable. One of my childhood memories was when I was nine going on ten, seeing my very first male great crested newt and I saw that white stripe disappearing down into the water. And I thought, my God, that must be a dragon or something. <laughs> Little did you know, decades later, yes, you'd be making a trap to catch them. Here I am, 60 years <laughs> later, yes. <laughs> it's fantastic that these rare amphibians are using this small pond. And as well as the Great Crested, we also found 14 palmate newts. But that's not all. We still have our other pond to check. Straight away, it's looking promising. In fact, we've caught more newts in the first two traps than we had from the whole of the other pond. And unlike the last pond, these are all smooth or common newts. If we've got our calculations right, that's 57? 57, 57 thereabouts, yeah. Wow! This is the, the kind of newt that people most likely get in their garden pond. And they, they, they see that crest, which is quite striking, and they think, this is a great crest. newt in their pond. But I think you'd, you'd agree, having seen that one before, you couldn't really mistake the you two side by side, no. 
Well, David, I've got to say, I've been really impressed and amazed how many newts that we've caught. And it's all thanks to your trap here, the Dewsbury trap named yes. after you. And you know what? I looked up to see if there's a collective noun for newts, and there isn't. No. So I think we should call it a lunchbox of newts. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>